open the OKM GPR app on the tablet and start your GPR with the power button. If the light now is constantly on, the connection to the tablet is established. You now open a new scan and see that the antennas on the radar are already connected. Via the upper right arrow you continue and activate the integrated GPS. On the main unit you see that the green light turns blue, which means that you have a solid GPS signal. Confirm with the right button and give the scan a unique name to identify it later. Now the scan method is chosen. In this case the 3D scan. Then the scan mode. Now choose between zigzag or parallel mode and then determine the penetration depth. Here low profile, start measuring in the lower right corner. In the parallel mode you set the first line and start the next track parallel to each other. When you imagine your scan field, start the first lane by pressing the trigger button on the main unit. Now, start to walk your lane slowly. To achieve a good result, the radar antenna should be held about 5 to 10 cm above the ground. During the measurement, you can see live which data the GPR is collecting and how many impulses are set. When you have reached the end of the measuring field, you briefly press the trigger button on the GPR and walk back to the starting point without scanning. Now you take one step from the starting point to the left, press the trigger button again and start to walk the track at the same speed as before. On the split screen you can see the distance still to be walked until the end of the track. Since you have set the distance in the first lane by number of impulses and your own walking speed, the radar will automatically give a final signal when you reach the end of the line. Then you start the third line, just like the two previous lanes. Same distance to the ground, same step length and same distance between the lanes. You can walk any number of tracks. Your GPR will stop you each time. You can use the impulses of the device to acquire a pace, so that you always walk at the same speed and get a consistent result. The fourth scan line is finished by clicking on the small X. Save the scan by clicking on the check mark. When you perform your scan with activated GPS, you can simply take over these data for longitude and latitude and confirm them now. Now this 3D graphic is created completely automatically and shows you clearly what is in your scan field. The whole graphic can be turned, the measuring depth of anomalies can be determined and visualized in different color scales. We will explain this in the next tutorial.